Welcome back to the shooting channel. And today I'm going to show you four guns that every manufacturer all over the world try to compete with. And these four guns have been in production in different formats for years. And they are always the top guns in the world. You could go to America and you could see guns in the same format, slightly different for the American market. You could go to Australia, see the same things, slightly different for the Australian market. But the basic of these four guns are the ones that everyone, always, everyone knows about and it's the top guns in the world. The first one is the Browning 525. In no particular order this is, the Browning 525, it started its life as the 325 went 425 went 525. And they are always guns, they are always there, they are always on top. All over the world, if you go to Australia, you go to America, you get the 525, you get the Satori, you get different formats of that, but they are the gun that everyone knows. Then I've got the Beretta Silver Pigeon. Again, different formats all over the world, but the Silver Pigeon is the gun that everyone knows. The 686 Silver Pigeon, they changed the engraving, they changed little bits and pieces on it. But if you walk in to a gun shop or a shooting school anywhere in the world, you'll find one of these. The Maruku MK70. Again, I know Browning now, they formed a partnership with Maruku years ago, and they're now all part of the same company. But the MK60 is being really out there. In a different format in different countries, but generally the Maruku is always out there. And then the famous MK38, the Maruku MK38. Again, different format. This was developed for Maruku's trap gun, the MK38 trap gun, but this is the Sporter. Now, in a way, out of all four of these guns, the Maruku is the only one that's off the shelf gun that has won, without changing it, numerous Commonwealth, numerous Olympic medals. So out of all four of these guns, this one's probably the one that everyone goes back to. These four guns are what all the other manufacturers try and compete with. Bretter and Browning and Maruku, they've been around for years, they know what they're doing, they get it right. Can you, the viewer, tell me who has owned one of these four guns in their lifetime? You may go off, you may buy a a Blaza, you may buy a Caesar Greeny, you may buy a Rosini, you might buy a Fausti, but these four guns is what 99% of people would have started at. If you go into any shooting school around the country, you will get these four guns. They've got it all right, they're very similar, they've all got recoil reducers on them, they've all got Ventilated barrels, ventilated ribs, comes with chokes, ABS cases. They come in the game format, they come in the sporting format. But they just keep on going. I'm going to be completely honest, I would put the MK60, the MK70 and the Beretta Silver Pigeon, I would put them together because they have both got low, low combs. So again, if you're a little bit shorter and fatter, you're going to fit these slightly better because they're a little bit lower in the comb. So if I mount the cap gun into the camera, my head is below there, my eye is below there. The MK60 and 70s, again they're low. And then the 525 is a little bit higher. And the MK38 is even higher. The only thing I would say with the MK38, 
The MK38 generally is a lot heavier than these three guns. And that's because originally it was based on a trap gun. Now we're gonna go down and I'm gonna have just a couple of shots with each one. And we'll just have a little bit of a talk through each one. So now I'm gonna shoot a few clays with the Bretta Silver Pigeon. Let's see what it's like. Pull. 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 Now I'm gonna shoot a few clays with the MK38. So if I had to pick out of one of these four, I'd probably go because of the stock dimensions for either the MK38 or the 525 Browning. Pull. 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 So the weight of that is just really good. And that's why it's been one of the unbeatable guns for years. Now I've got the Maruka MK60. Again, they do an MK60 and an MK70 in this. Pull. 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 So that was the four unbelievable guns. We're gonna to cut to a bit of footage of me shooting over the last year of me shooting and trying these four guns just to show you why these four guns have always been on top and everyone tries to compete with these four guns and they always seem to be there or thereabouts. Pull. 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 
Cool. to know if you've got one of these guns and which one you chose for please comment below please comment on anything you like to see or you you found out with one of these four guns i hope you enjoyed this program please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>